Well, this is, uh, <laughs> I'm going to edit it out. No, I probably won't. I'd probably leave it uncut. Uh, you got to plug your company because if you want contract work, you're going to be on YouTube. Fair enough. So who are you? Quality Embroidery. You got to speak louder. This camera's not going to get that. <laughs> Quality Embroidery, Lexington, North Carolina. And uh, you were among the very first that uh, got the uh, one of the NGLs, right? That's right. Um, you provide a lot of input and feedback. You, How long have you had the first one? Let's see, we've had it about six months. Six months. Yeah, about six months. And what did you just do today? You got the uh, second one? We got the second one. Business is great with it. But uh, why are you so insane as to get a second one if you were the first? <laughs> It was a lot, of, software. a lot of improvements in the software that we were looking for, and uh, also we've got some uh, fairly big customers that have come on board. We're straight contract work, and I've uh, got to grow with that, and I couldn't afford, number one, to have a machine down at, at any time, and number two, the volume's getting there where I'm, I'm, I'm going to need it. So. Why would anybody need a laser in embroidery? I mean, embroidery's been making a living for 40 years a certain way. And that was the whole point behind what we did, is, is I'm heavily involved in uh, embroidery in the golf market for Cutter and Buck and Polo and those sorts of folks. So I have a lot of spring business. Fall business, not so much. So I was looking for something to get into that college market, high school market, that whole applique, Abercrombie look. And uh, so that's where I was looking and, and found you guys. So. You compared to other lasers too. Why did you pick this one if it was like, it was really new the first time? Like, it wasn't was it scary? Your YouTube did yeah. it all for me. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I called around and I looked at the bridge and I really felt like uh, the minus part of a bridge is that I'm waiting to cut all the other heads are down. And I was intrigued with the idea that I could pull my, head, my hoops off set them over there to be cut and I'm running my next run and some of mine you know were 20,000 stitches so to have those heads sitting there is a big waste of time and that's that's what really threw me on to, to that. Is the How many uh, NGL lasers can you get for one bridge? <laughs> a couple. <laughs> yeah. More than a couple huh? Well and, and I'm running for instance right now I'm doing applique work on five or six machines so I got five or six eight head machines. I couldn't buy a bridge long enough to cover everything. I'd be real expensive. So this way, I'm able to be real flexible and run two machines using it. If I need three, I just throw another machine on it. I don't have to build a bridge across it. I just throw another machine on an on applique. Not that I have to uh, fix and improve everything instantly, what everybody tells me, but what's your experience with us trying to accommodate suggestions that you have? Well, this this new software has been real fast. I mean, since Friday to today, it's been two days. But, but, but I mean, change is like, like uh, you know, you, you guys provide a lot of great input for me because of the way you yeah. do business. Is that impressive when it comes to make changes for you? Does that give you comfort? Yes. Yeah. Okay. As long, good. As, long as we're growing. Um, it's what are you going to tell somebody who's not, how many heads do you have now in total that are? We've got about 120 heads right now. We're running today about 48 of them using under the laser. Under the laser. And what do you tell somebody who's not even close to you? What do you tell a guy who has a six head and a two head, and his business is like he's struggling? Is a laser valuable for somebody like that? It opens up a new market. I mean, yeah. you got to set yourself. Every mom and pop shop in the country is doing embroidery and screen print. Um, We've run into several instances when somebody says, yeah, well, I can take it down to my local guy. And I give them, show them a sample and say, take this to your local guy. And they do, and the local guy said, nah. I you can name drop an, an applique on the back of a shirt better than a screen printer could name drop. Because he has to do his, his uh, film and his screens. With this, you just put a file out there and you can cut a name out. Um, what about the etching? How valuable is that to you? We hope to be huge. We've done some on the polar fleece, but we started doing some on cotton, and we're doing it on pant legs. Um, I've got one customer that we, we've gotten a sample out there, and, and they're going to be pushing that, and we hope that's going to be big. What about uh, micro dry sports wicking, all that stuff? We've shown it. It's everybody likes it. Nobody's really bought into it yet, but it's coming. I think it's also fall, right? Yeah. Yeah, the end of summer, yeah. season's over, but pretty much here, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Did you want to tell me anything about uh, 
I'm going to let you go. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. <laughs> tell me, uh, Nick, about production. How do you run this? What's your, just any hints you can tell anybody? What we have done on production is if you let the work stack up and once you've dialed it in, is to have your person understand that, that cleaning it comes last. And, and because you can cut enough to catch up all the machines and then trim. And we're doing on a design like we have now about 100, 120 an hour. On uh, cutting? Yeah. Not etching? Etching, no. Cutting, 120 an hour. Etching, it depends on the size. If I can keep it in that 12 inches, you know, you can etch probably 60 an hour. It depends on how big it is. Okay. Um, I don't want to show any logos, but you want to show me or point to any piles quickly of stuff that has to be cut, just that people believe that there's stuff to be done? All those boxes behind it. What's on the floor there? Yeah. Okay, and there's the other laser over there. Yeah. And what day is it today? Why is it so quiet here? Sunday. <laughs> Sunday evening. <laughs> okay. You're dedicated. And who are you again? How do I get a hold of you? Quality Embroidery. www.qereb.com and uh, what do you do for other people if they want testing, contract, anything? Contract. Our, you know, our, our specialty is golf and applique. So we, we can help you with either one. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you.